All right, there we go. That was an easy fix, right? Yeah. Push the little button. Yeah. YouTubers, can you hear us now? <laughs> How do okay, I get back? Okay, there we go. We're, we're good. We're good now. All right, we're good now. How do I get back to the screen with the comments? Uh, let's just do this. Boom. Perfect. All Thank right. Thank you. We're back. We're, we're back. Here. Okay, we I'm on Instagram, folks. See what we got here. Uh, <laughs> We have uh, Swift Welding. What's up, my man? I uh, hope you guys are doing well uh, and doing welding. Hey, mm, do, I'm is, not is doing that any a, welding. No. I just watch him do it. So we're we're good. Uh, you, you're gonna have to scroll yeah, through. Yeah, I these. know, I know. Okay. Just get down here. Okay. Yeah, just scroll through those. Okay. Um. All right, guys. We are in what week two of, of two. quarantine now? No, three. Three. But we, they do, we all did blend have, together after they, a they while. Do. They do. Uh, but one thing that we finally did is we launched a dining table video. Yep. Made a dining table with the help of my man, Matt Akins from Rustic River Creations. Uh, I think Matt is on the chat over in uh, the YouTube. So big shout out to Matt. Yep. Uh, okay, good to go. They can hear us now. Uh, awesome, Rustic awesome. River Creations says nice. Nice hat. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Rustic River Creations, Matt is on over on YouTube. I want to give a huge shout out to him. He helped me mill all that lumber. If you've not seen the video yet, mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and check that out when you have some time. You can drool over his shop. Oh, Matt's shop was amazing. Yeah, it was really cool. That six, he has a 16 inch yeah. joiner. I think we've talked about that every time that we've been on here. We have. Yes. Because well, the first time I said, why do you really need a 16? That's true. Yeah. But and I, and inch, I said 16 inch, 16 inch jointer. Jointer. Okay. Yeah. And gotcha. so it's massive. It's like a hundred, it's a hundred inches plus. I think it's like 102 inches. Yeah. And it's absolutely ridiculous. I think it's the Laguna, uh, but it is amazing piece of machinery. And he helped me mill down the boards uh, for the project. And so it was awesome. Uh, we went through it and you can see Matt's shop. So be sure to go check that out. Yep. And you can also check Matt out um, at rusticrivercreations.com or over here on YouTube. We got yeah. the little the little thing my bobber over here. Yep. Foxhall Woodwork says, sup, Brian Sup, Susan? JP. <laughs> yeah, JP. JP just uh, from Foxhall Woodworks just finished up the clamp rack. Oh. So uh, big congrats nice. on that. If you guys have built anything recently in the quarantine from plans, let us know. We'd love yeah. to. Or to just, give you a shout out or DM us or, yeah. or whatever. What a, tell us what you're working on. Tell us what you're working on. How are on. you surviving? How are you surviving? Right. Because we're... We're doing okay. We're doing okay it's unless just, we try to go live on YouTube we and Instagram. The, we also have rules about how often we can look at the news. That's true. You know. That's true. In the drops, what's up? JHV. Get you down. Beverage of choice. Oh, yeah. The man, man in his woods. Oh, that's the other nice thing about YouTube is that it's not reversed. So I'm drinking a little yingling. Oh, yeah. And I have my hazy little IPA. Hazy little IPA. Cheers. Cheers. For the second <laughs> YouTube, we're about 15 minutes late because uh, the camera wasn't working like it was the last time, or the whole connection, and it yep. was a big pain. It was a problem. Um, Hector, but I'm smarter oh, than it. Yep. I mean, after 15 minutes, I'm smarter than right. it. Right. Well, least. no, he figured it out. I did. I just sat here quietly and let him figure it out because he's trying to. Process. O'Shea Woodwork, what is up, my man? Dude, I could have had my O'Shea shirt on. Yeah. That's one of my other favorite oh, yeah, shirts. Yeah. O'Shea yeah, Woodwork in the house, man. Um, let's see. What did I see? <laughs> Best BA shop is growing a quarantine beard. Any pointers? Uh, yeah, just don't shave. <laughs> <laughs> that works. That's how I always I grow like my beards. All of the, like you and the boys, we have, we have three kids, two are boys. They're, they're all getting kind of shaggy. Like Everybody's getting shaggy. Is anybody else cuts? getting quarantine hair? And I out wanted there? a haircut beforehand, I've, but it, I can get away with I've it. Started, I've started seeing the ladies. Oh, yeah. Okay, I feel bad for the ladies out there or the guys out there. I don't dye there. my hair, so I'm good. Anybody who's dyeing their hair. Yeah, or highlights or any of that. It's becoming very, very okay, obvious. You don't have to say it in that way. <laughs> no, but then, no, you know, like Kristen down the street, yeah. they, she had a picture of her husband was like doing her roots oh my for gosh. her. <laughs> I mean, that's been love about right there. Her hair for a long time, and I'm like, I don't have, do it. Don't do it yeah. because I knew the quarantine he was coming. He knew, he knew it was coming. So uh, he saved me. Jeremy, what is up? Jeremy Hill from Jericho Home is in the house. Uh, all right. Hey, if you're joining us on Instagram, I would love for you to join us over on YouTube. It's my second channel now mm -hmm. that we have uh, just for this, for the Fixes Build That Live. So it's not on the main channel. And you can go to bit.ly forward slash FTBT Live uh, to get there. Hector Serpa, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, wants to know uh, what size welder did you use for your new table? Oh, and uh, we got oh, Mark the Maker. What's up, Mark? And Scott yeah. Magical. Big hey. shout out to, to Scott. Scott was uh, 
the editor on did that latest one. He awesome did a, job. a fantastic job. Super We're excited about it. Very excited to have yeah. Scott uh, helping us out right mm -hmm. now. Uh, the welder that I used was the uh, is a 210 amp, I guess. 210 amp. Not 210 amp. That's crazy. 200. <laughs> I was like, sure, 200 yeah. 10, what is that? Is it 210? Uh, it's right over there. Oh, I know it's 210. I just, I've always just kind of know. used that. It's, it just says power welder. It's on welder a 30 amp breaker. MP. It says 210 watts? MP. What's that? Well, that's multi process. Okay. But it's the Lincoln that's Electric 210 MP. Yeah. And um, did a good job. Oh, it's, it it's, looks it's an cool amazing welder. on the video when he did it. It's a fantastic welder. I love it. Uh, I do work with Lincoln and I've been up there. They taught me up there in Lincoln. They taught me some of the welding. I'm really still a novice, but I'm really enjoying, uh, if you see the video, I did one by three legs on the base. I don't mm -hmm. have any of that out here anymore. I, don't uh, I did one by do. three tube steel on the base and then welded it together. So if you've not seen the video, it's kind of like a T coming across here. It's like a, a box, just like a normal box, but then another T like box coming on. Thing going. And uh, we can yeah, combine it worked our out. Arms and make it. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out really well, uh, and and it was. It looks really nice. Yeah, it it was painted uh, matte black, mm -hmm. and it, we love it. Uh, the top yeah. is white oak. It's beautiful. At first, I was doubtful. He was like, "How about white oak?" I'm like, "Oak." I think of like I was 80s like, Oak's oak. No joke. You know, like <laughs> like all the oak cabinets that we grew up seeing in people's kitchens uh, but it does not look like that at all it's beautiful so no, now we just need chairs to go with it that's the next dilemma and where do you buy chairs during a pandemic that's right when you all the stores are closed so uh, we're kind of chairless here. right now we got moose julio finally got the garage cleaned out and he's gonna make some cabinets oh and nice some Fantastic. get organized while you're home yep spent brass going to grab a drink of That's choice a cool name. two car workshop uh what model is the rigid bandsaw this little guy i have no earthly idea oh, he's but had it's that the forever. only model it's the only one they made in the gray model back in the stone ages back in the stone ages <laughs> uh and but cats am says uh what's the next project uh, we were deliberating about that today. Uh, we have a couple different sure. contenders. I don't know if we actually settled on one. We did not. We need to because um, it's got to happen so, tomorrow. And I po apologize. I apologize, apologize from the bottom of my heart. Wow. Uh, oh, sincere. <laughs> it's sincere. For how long I was in between videos because oh. what were we, well, we had a hiccup weeks? in there. We had yeah. a hiccup. We had a project that was supposed out of to go hands. live two weeks ago. Right. All it got done. Put on hold. Completely done. 100% done. Videos completely edited. It got put on hold by right. the sponsor. Right. Because for, for good reason. Because reasons. it's it's yeah. it's Home Depot and it's um about in home consultations mm -hmm. for redoing your master closet. Well, right. obviously you can't. And it's a great thing to not do, doing those but right not now. during social distancing. Right, so. so they're waiting yeah. on that video. But that kind of messed up our content calendar. And then I don't know what our excuse is for the other three weeks. I don't but know. Shh, just don't talk. About whatever. That. We're uh, reading the, the news. <laughs> In the drops is watching YouTube videos to stay there. Uncle Stinky Studio says stay safe. Uncle Stinky Studio? Uncle St oh, dude, Jeremy's growing the uh, quarantine mullet. I love it. Oh, jeez. Well, now's the time to do the it. Your design. Thank you no so one's much. Because no going to see you. I know. Amps, or not Or maybe bolts. you want well, someone yeah. to see it. I and don't Mr. Know. Duan, it's not amps, right? Because, I mean, it's on a 30-amp circuit. Yeah. Circuit. I'm going to get cut circuit. up over here. I don't know what the, what is, uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, I mean, Tortuga says. Fox Hall oh, Woodworks says <laughs> sexy table. It is yes, a sexy table. it was. Let's see here. What's up, Jeff HWS in here? All right, who else we got? Uh, and up for making a. I can't believe what that says. I don't know. Okay, right. so we're right, we right here. right here? Rest of so, Christian says, hey, hey. And then Aggie fan, wasn't that Teresa? It no. is Teresa. Teresa. It is got Teresa. It. Nice work. I know, thank you. Aggie will fan, you will take we take donations, donations for making, for making the, shield? the shield? So we oh, are. That's nice. uh, do you want to go grab one? Go grab the, the one that's. Sure. Oh, yeah, don't. I can off. do that. Yeah, I won't like rip Go grab this that. Let's off. show. Uh, because, uh, and thank you, Teresa, for bringing that up. So, what we've been doing, we have a 3D printer, and uh, I bought it uh, about a, a month and a half ago. And when this whole uh, COVID thing came up, uh, there were some things that got put out on the internet around uh, obviously PPE is in short supply, personal protective equipment. And uh, now Susan's going to model it. And so, we've been making these little masks, and um, it's a. It's a design. Look at this thing. Oh, you're looking good. Baby. You're looking good. Here, uh -huh. let me, uh, Thank you. Let me get a little handy there. It's a good look for me. <laughs> but no, it's really good. So this is, and yeah, you can take it actually, off I bet it would, I bet that's like really them. loud in the mic because I bet it is. Off. Yeah. Sorry. So <laughs> it's deafening. <laughs> no, it's probably awesome. So this is actually what, what we've been making and what it is, Super is cool. uh, we can make this on the 3d printer and here's for uh, a little close up of it. I uh, wish we had the little thing. But um, it is, what this is 
printed on a 3D printer in, uh, and I, I think if I redo the settings, I can make this even faster. But right now we're making these in about 40 minutes. So I can make about, you know, 12 to 15 a day, depending upon <laughs> if I could get to it and restart it. Right. Um, but, uh, and then you do like a three hole punch on here. And so this is literally just <clears throat> transparency paper. And so it's, it's kind of a cool little design somebody came up with, and I don't know who the, the name of the guy, I think it's actually somebody it's got from- a video out there. Well, that's yeah. Joel <clears throat> Telling oh, from okay. 3D Printer Nerd, but the guy gotcha. who actually made it, I think is from, he's from, from Europe somewhere. Oh, and um that. And yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's a nice little face shield to, to be, uh, boom, right there. Yeah. I mean, it's like super DIY, but it's better it than covers. not having anything at all so right it covers um, their eyes for sure and even like part you know the mask and so it's like an additional barrier right. but to your question yeah. Teresa about taking donations um just very sweet if, if we had like the, what we're trying to find so the problem with this I don't know if they can hmm? I'm thinking <clears throat> of a good way to show this but it's a little it's a little hazy and you might even be able yeah. to see that there because it's, it's an overhead transparency it's overhead sheet. transparency right so um what we, we would punch. love more than anything is to find a more clear option this is yeah. like the apollo transparency it's, uh, it's like kitchen. overhead transparency I it. yeah and and like but we what feel we need like to find is something more clear it it will still work and you can still see through it but i yeah. mean to be ideally we would here, like for it to be this is kind of more the view through it right and it's not clear. bad it's actually not bad where it becomes bad is um when you get light and that yeah. light, you get the starburst a lot on there. So that's what So if what anyone has any at. ideas about a clear material, because what we do is we take a three hole punch and we punch it in like two different directions to make the hole, did you say that? To yep. make the holes uh, well, match that's up what the, yep. here? Yeah, so it just has to be able to be um, thin enough to be able to be punched with a three hole punch. Right, right, um, so like but, a thin, not, yeah. not like, it's not like an acrylic or anything. This is like no. thin. Uh, anyway. I forget. I think it's like four mils. But yeah. if anybody has any suggestions on Let us that, know, for sure. uh, because it, right now, Teresa, the point is, is that um, you know money is not our holdback right no. now. It's it's finding good materials, and if we could find that, uh, and it's fairly inexpensive. You know, I think the, a pack of a hundred of the transparencies was like twenty five bucks or something. Right. So we just bought that. Totally. Uh, we bought a couple packs actually, and. And then, then we're like, oh, I wish they were a little bit better. And yeah. so it, like time is the issue versus money right. at this point. Because so. we want to get them shipped out as soon as we can. Right. And, we're, yeah. and they're actually going local to uh, Vanderbilt Hospital. It's going to be our first right. little test bed. Yep. And then we were talking about trying to find a hospital or hospitals to send them to in hotspot areas as well. Yes. Yep. So that's Absolutely. the plan. So we'll see. We're going to keep working on it. All right, um, so I don't, in a forerunner, I'm, oh, foosball. I was like, be, be foos, a foosball table. That oh, sounds cool. awesome. I would love to build a that foosball That would be really table. fun. We've talked about getting a foosball table before. We have, we have. But we haven't done it. Amos approved. What's up, Grant? Uh, Z.A. Uh, Moraldo, how's it going? Hey. Uh, oh, he's, uh, are you up for making a foosball table? Thanks in advance, in a forerunner. No, I, W.T. Lewis, what's up? I, I wish I could. I wish I had some advice for you, but yeah. I don't. Yeah, that sounds like a... I can build Big it project. too. What is up? How you doing? Bear um, Creek in the house. What we got going on right here? Fletchel Custom Builds. What's up? So Michael Anthony six twenty four wants yep. to know he's installing candle ha candles. He's installing <laughs> handles on his kitchen cabinets tomorrow. Any tips so they come out even? Ah, uh, dude, you gotta have a jig, man. You, need you gotta a jig. have a jig of some sort. So installing kitchen cabinet handles. I'll show you a couple. I have this actually works out okay. Um, this, I've got like a enough in. room. Yep. Uh, I actually have two jigs for you. If you don't have, I mean, if, like you're, a definite if you're installing response. them, if you're installing them tomorrow, <clears throat> you know that could be a problem. Could you but, like make one? Well, that's what I'm about to tell him. Oh, okay. So there you go. Um, he, I'm just going to show you these. So I also have the Craig cabinet hardware jig. I love that the one. That's the one I use because it's just very configurable. This is a close second. If you're doing it tomorrow. Close second. If you can order at Home Depot or Lowe's and have them, you know, pick up and, and whatever, so you don't have like to, pick up so you can curb. stay social do distance. Or do I don't know if they do or not. They but, should be doing that. Um, but this is a little jig from Liberty. Every time you say that, I just want to be like a little jig. Stop yeah. <laughs> dancing around. I mean, I, I know that's not what it is, but it just but it makes me like think it. of like well, the that's little what the guy was like, show us a jig, and I was like, I'm not dancing. And he's like, oh, no, right, we're working jig. Right. Gotcha. This is the one for Liberty, and the way that this works is it hooks over the top, so this one would be for drawers, mm -hmm. and uh, then you can be centered, and it's got, um, it's got three different holes. settings. It's got a three-inch one, a three-and-a-half, and a, a four-inch one. The thing I like about the Craig, uh, the Craig cabinet hardware jig is that it's fully mm -hmm. adjustable, and so sometimes I'll be in between holes, 
Um, but you want something like that. But you could also make this out of a scrap of wood. So uh, if you're gonna be installing them, make something so it's got a lip up here and then holds down and then put your handles and then you just mark the center and you're good. And then this would be one for like doors. So you would put this on the door and same type thing. So you've got two registration marks. So if you don't have a jig like this already, uh, I would either suggest picking one up if you are able to get out and do that uh, safely or make one out of scrap wood, which you could do pretty easily just by kind of, you know, getting that idea and running with it. All right. Yeah, hope cool. that helps. All right, we've got um, Knock Tactical says YouTube is way better video and sound. So thank you for the feedback. That's Notch, by the way. Notch. I knew, like, I was like, that doesn't look like I'm saying <laughs> it right, but whatever. Okay, sorry. And then James Shelton said the fire station keeps him pretty busy. So he is on the front lines of this. So James, thanks thank for you, your my service. man. Appreciate that. And I hope yeah. you're staying safe out there. Absolutely. Um, Taylor Hubble, do you have any plans for shop cabinets? He's in the market. He's Funny met, you should ask, Taylor. He's met, that's a, that's we a do. setup. I know, I figured. He, yeah, every yeah. once in a while, he'll, he just puts them up there. Just kind of plugs oh, And he's the watching with cabinets. the boys. What's yeah. up, boys? He <laughs> I saw that yeah, too, yeah. He, uh, they, they had a family watching. So oh, I love, if you, if you uh, watch any of my videos with any of your family, whether it's your wife or your husband or your kids, your brother, your sister, your dad, yeah, your mom, anybody. your grandmother, whoever. Family. Uh, <laughs> I would love, like, I would, even just a DM, just to say, hey, we're watching your video, and, you know, like. It's fun. We hated it. No. <laughs> we hated it. But, uh, yeah. Be honest. Tell I, us. I love watching, uh, I love getting the messages and seeing that families watching it together and just enjoy, especially yep. right now. Everybody's home. Yep. Um, so we've been watching things. We've been watching. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Rober's got some things going yep. on where he's been doing, like, this school session. And, Our uh, kids were, like, binge watching his stuff. Oh, my gosh. They, they literally watched it. Wow, was it, like, three hours? It was crazy. But then it's all, like, educational, you know? I mean, it's fun. And, he's like, they guy. really loved it. So we just kind of let them go. Plus, we were trying to get work done. So yes. it was but a win-win. Taylor, I do have shop cabinets. If you go to fixthisbuild.com. <laughs> Tons of them. And just search yeah. uh, shop cabinets. Or go to my... YouTube channel or plans.fixthisbuild.com. Any place that I'm at, basically, you can get to the shop cabinets very easily. We have a whole we bundle. We easy. Uh, yeah, Hopefully. we have a whole bundle. Yeah. All right, Maker by Proxy says, hey, peeps, just finished your work table build. I love having a bench I can roll outside. Awesome. So, Maker awesome. by Proxy. I think that's Robert. Robert? Robert. Is that you? Yeah, he was think, talking earlier. I think Robert. Robert he's, he's uh, I, I believe that's Robert. I believe he's the one that bought the laser Oh. from us. I didn't know that part. I think I heard he was talking to the people earlier in the conversation. And I think yeah, they called him Robert. I'm almost certain. So, yes. What's up, Robert? All right, I'm going to go back to uh, and Fox Hall Woodworks. I do love beer, so I like wine. Too. Are he they going to be allowed to use them? Texas. So uh, he's asking about the oh, thing. Oh, I don't they, know. We don't so know. So that is an interesting question. Yeah. Because uh, I have heard that people are question. getting turned down. Re oh, I didn't hear that. So I mean, do they you make them assume... and they try to donate them. But I have a friend that works there. Yeah. Um, that I'm just going to give them to her, and then. I mean. I hope it does not get to this point, but if they don't have other items, surely that it would be better than nothing, you know? You never know. I mean, I mean I hopefully think that, that's they wouldn't thing. run I think, out. I think if, if, if you go to a hospital and like, they're like, hey, we're kind of good, like we, you know, we're not right. out, that they're probably going to be, they might be a little more sticky about, right. oh, that's not FDA approved or like whatever. Like our local hospital, I don't, like we donated the N95 masks mm -hmm. to them and they were totally cool with taking those. But I don't, nef I don't necessarily think our smaller local hospital would, I don't know. Because yeah. Vanderbilt's like more like the trauma center, like where right. people go. But, so, I don't uh, know. my whole thing is get it into the hands of people you know. Right, right? Because true. like, I mean, I can't imagine. There's, it's one thing to donate it to a hospital, right? right. And for them to say, yes, thank you. Like, right. we are receiving this from you. It's another thing for, me, for you to give it to a friend they just take it who in. works in a hospital and they just roll in, right? right? And they're like, yo, what up? What you gonna like, do? I'm, like, like, what are they gonna I'm do? Here Tell you to stop and wearing I'm wearing it? this thing. Um, right. I mean, I guess they could, but. Well, you never I, know. I hope not. I hope not too. But that is a good question. I don't I mean, know. Because it's not, it's not. Um, we do not have that information. Yeah. Um, Joel, Dave Joel Precise, Wise what's up? says hello. Joel Wise, what's up, Joel? Should we take Joel? turns reading the comments? We've got different what, yeah, comments. Yeah, sorry. I would be, maybe just like, blast, yeah. Let me, let me blast through a, a few sure. here. Bill Niemeyer, try to heat up the mask with a heat gun and try that. Oh. Interesting. That's an interesting and that will, idea. And to clear it up? Plus, that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> if I catch my house on fire, no, like, I'm you. No, like, safely. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Eric, hello, what's up? Dave, what up, my man? Would they work for non-medical use? Uh, not, so this is, no. These, so uh, that is the thing. What is my choice for plywood? Building with a beard, uh, Baltic birch plywood. Building this with is, a beard. So this is not going to be 
any yeah. impact resist. This is just for um, basically that fluids. Stop very much. It's not going to stop anything, any no. kind of impact. This is just for like somebody sneezes and it doesn't go in your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Right. It doesn't go in your mouth. Like they don't this cough. is. Right into your eyeballs. This is literally to stop droplets. Right. Stop the drop. Stop the drop. Lit. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me think of stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's yeah. see here. Max Z, <laughs> thank you. It says the table turned out great for the face shield. What about clear vinyl, maybe? I would love if you clear have vinyl. if you have a link for clear vinyl. I would love that. Yeah, let us know. Uh, Raul, what's up? What's a different alternative to Craig Jig tools for pocket holes? Thinking about hmm. the new Craig Jig Are there other 320. Ones? Yeah, there, there's other ones. People, other people make <laughs> Not Do for they me. exist? Uh, there yes. are other people that make them, but the Craig Jake 320, there's not anything just like that. That's their new one. I don't think you can see that. Is that the big that. one? No, it's no. their new. It's like There's a, a newer one than this guy? No, not that style. It's like there's, you remember the R3, like the little handheld one? Yeah. That's like a two shooter. Sure. I like oh, yeah, like the don't. really small one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you clamp like down. Like the original one. They made a new, it's not the original one. I mean, okay. But they made a new version of that, uh, and it links together. So that's mm -hmm. the 320 you're talking about. Um, and then I don't know, like I think Miles Craft and hmm. Armor's got a bigger one. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. uh, I prefer the Craig for sure. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's <clears> see <throat> here. Who we got? I like the noise you make while you're scrolling. I know. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Advanced Custom Creations, what is up, Fred? How are you? Instagram is free, so I don't like YouTube. Mac, what oh. are, YouTube's free. Do you have to pay free? for YouTube? No, no, baby. It's free, we're, baby. We're, we're free. Come on in. The water's what you talk fine. about? Yeah. What you talk about? <laughs> Instagram free, man. Mike Coffee, what is up, my man? Yeah, why chronically? I made it. She made it. I love it. What'd she make? Showed your videos to my dad and I have to translate everything. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. That's uh, awesome. Box NFG says hello. All right, who we got over here? Okay. Well, let me see. Um, Fox Hollywood works. Man, I wish my wife drank beer. That's what I was saying mm -hmm. earlier. I do drink beer. I don't drink wine as much anymore because if I have a lot of wine, I will drink all the wine. She drank the whole thing. Dude. She was going through like I a box a, a week. Not, not even a week. We away. don't need to call out the specifics. It was a stressful time. So anyway, I like the beer because I can limit myself better, and it's good. Whatever. Yes. A box anyway. is just like o open. I mean, it's like it's like a spout. You know, know. it's hard. I know. Oh, that's bad. It's dangerous. Mark, what is up? Dangerous. I'm bald, so no problem for me. Hey, I'm getting there, Mark. I hear you, bro. Um, uh, Dave, I finally have hair again. <laughs> that's awesome. Let it grow out. Look, we do that. That's kind of okay. cool. Okay. Building, Building and designing design. and one assembly table outfit. Ooh, that's awesome. Big Willie's Garage. That sounds fantastic. Wow. Too bad. That sounds like a uh, lot. Good day, guys. Good to see you, David Parseth. What is up? Did what is up? Did you just do an Australian accent? David Parseth. Good day, mates. That's what it Put sounded like. I was like, is he Australian and we're speaking in the accent? <laughs> Rick Schmidt. What is up, man? The quarantine hair. Yeah, I'm telling you what, yeah. guys. I know, we're just Everyone's going to the... be looking interesting. I know. I know. It's it's all it's all good. Uh, all right, we got Dan. Dan Swift came over on to the YouTube as well. All right. This is awesome. What are we, we, yeah, we got, we got the 34 folks over here. So if you are joining us on Instagram, we are now live on YouTube. There's a link right We're down everywhere. here. everywhere. We'd be everywhere. Yep. Uh, bit.ly forward slash FTBT live. Please go join us. We will be uh, stopping the Instagram show uh, in the future, in the yep. next few weeks yeah i so, think we have a couple more and then yeah and actually we'll probably cut this one off early as well because we're just going to go and focus straight on the youtube because it's so much better like in every shape form or fashion and fashion and let's see here who else we got here what was the spreader Ooh, the notch tactical the spreader clamp i was using i don't know if i'm if in I the got, frame when if you're I building oh yeah that did look cool do, do, do. this is the downside <laughs> how far can you go it is a uh but it's a jack clamp is what it's called it's jack clamp my buddy um, DIY Pete, Pete Sven, mm -hmm. uh, brought this as a gift when he came. Oh. And it is uh, called the, G it's actually a really cool clamp um, by nice. Lowell Thomas Tool. And um, it is super cool because it you can do spreader mode like that, right? So it's like the reverse. Uh, so you do it and it spreads so it out. Smart. It is, but it will also, um, it will also easily reverse. And so, so just, let's see here. If anyway, like you can do it the mm -hmm. same. Am I, how, what am I thinking? Oh, it goes. The, oh, that's how it goes. Here we go. How's that go? You can slide it off the end. I have it's no idea easy. what I'm doing. I'm, <laughs> it's it's so very easy. easy. So easy. A uh, caveman could do it. You, but you yeah. can basically move this off and turn it around, and then it's a regular clamp as that's well. That's very multi-purpose. It is. Like uh, it. But it, so it's got this thing, right? So like, if you pulled this down all the way, then it's smaller. So when you flip it around. Uh, you can you can clamp with it cool. so it's actually a very cool clamp and it's got different feet and things for it so you could use it to um 
like you can use it for spreading, but you could also use it to like jack up uh, a cabinet and hold a cabinet up when you're installing Dude, it. Dude, I totally seen... was thinking like a car. I do, <laughs> do not jack a car up. Only with because that. you're like jack up and that's where my brain goes, but I, I would not personally think that would be a good no. idea. No, I don't think it would be. No. Either. Uh, um, Leather by Dragonfly, what is up? We got Patrick in the house. Uh, we got uh, Matt Grazer, what is up? My man, Matt Grazer from Cincinnati. Used to work with him in uh, Kroger. Hmm. Do a cartwheel. Do no. a cartwheel. Not, not, uh, oh, have I'm you seen the something. challenge? Jose, what is up? The dudes are like doing the handstands like with their like actors. No. I don't even know who. What do you like, do? Like just a Have cartwheel, seen this? handstand? No, they do like this handstand and they put their feet up on the, on the, on the wall. And of course they're shirtless and, and they just, oh, and they just, they just did like that with just, one hand oh, yeah. and it's like super tough. You could do that. Let's get that going in the woodworking community. It's like the, the dude guys. who played Spider-Man in the Marvel movies. Oh, I love that guy. He did one. Tom Holland. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's awesome. He's ripped. Well, of course he is. And then somebody else did it too. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. J.G. Rustic. Aloha. 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 Uh, he says he just made the shoe rack and the planter. All right. Nice. Oh, wow. Good. That's fantastic, man. Uh, Masca, Masca, so make Masca makes a great pocket object. All right. Sean mm -hmm. Peterson, what is that, my man? Uh, my carrier, oh, your carrier in Mexico bills by the megabyte, and YouTube takes a lot. Oh, oh. okay. Well, then that does make sense. Dude. That stinks. I'm man. sorry. See, I'm, I'm just, I feel like entitled now. I'm like, what do you mean? YouTube's free over here. It's free. <laughs> oh, Lucas, geez. what's up? Hola, mi amigo. Hola. Uh, Jay Lasner from Montreal. Oh, wow. The facials hey. would be nice for poor daycare workers still caring yeah. for little kids. Oh, you know, yes, that's true. That, that is, that is. Sneeze Dave Precise, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, well, that might freak the kids out, though, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'd be freaked out or they'd be just like ripping off your face. That's true. It could turn into a Tasty fun Sierra game. Nevada, yep, you got it. Uh, Caper, Caper PXL, what is up? Sandra, how you doing? Peterson's Country Woodwork, uh, Facebook, check out Peterson's uh oh yeah he, uh i thought you were trying to do something but yeah don't don't spam in the comments please <laughs> that's not cool at all modish uh, is youtube is the youtube channel you would recommend for video is there a youtube re uh, mm. channel i would recommend for editing there is for sure uh there i'm trying to think of does he do the premieres he mainly peter? I th uh, not well peter mckinnon yeah peter mckinnon's a great one is he editing though or is he more like he, i'm sure he no he does, does editing. He's like, he does a lot like of editing. lots about video, um, video the stuff. one i would actually it's called uh what's it called cinecom cinecom.net cinecom something like that they're like uh eastern european they're hilarious dudes hmm. i can't remember the name of it exactly but it's like cinecom cinecom and you'll know when you look at it like the guys because the guy's accents will be funny but the uh the the logo looks like an opening iris of a camera huh? and it's like red and white so if you look for that, those guys are great. And then also uh, Tutvid. So Tutvid? Like, Tutvid. Tutvid. Or Tutvid. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's T-U-T-V-I-D, like but it's said. like tutorial. Uh, so it'd be like Tutvid. That just sounds weird. Okay, yeah. Our kids would love that. They would tutvid. absolutely love that. But go, go check both of those out. Gus Gus Creations, driving into work and keeping the internet going in Phoenix. Oh, uh, wow. oh one man. Oh, yeah. Stay safe out there, my man. Stay yeah, safe. Absolutely. All right. What we got over here? All right. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Another another new hat. Yes, this is uh, yep. my man Matt Akins from Rustic River. We just got done with the collab. Uh, he helped me out on the video that I just did, mm -hmm. the Oak Dining Table, and we were just talking. I think he was he was on earlier. I don't know if he's still on, but um, yeah, go check him out on. Instagram and or YouTube and you can see his awesome shop and if you wanted a sweet hat like this this is an awesome hat actually I love it it's the uh, it's kind of like the subtle camo it is it's it is very subtle camo I feel like I just went okay here we go you, um, yeah there you do, go. Do, 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 do. we did all these I have a Hobart 140 handler Meg welder I love it awesome love that's it. awesome Mark cool sounds nice I don't know anything I tell, yeah the, the welders I tell you what hey uh, Instagram folks if you are haven't oh, wow. joined us on YouTube and if you're not you know, if you're not getting charged for your YouTube, I apologize for that. We would love to have you join us on YouTube, uh, bit.ly forward slash FTBT live. We're going to go ahead and sign off on the Instagram portion. That's yep. kind of what we're going to do for the next three or four weeks. Come join us over here. 30 minutes on Instagram, a full hour on YouTube. So if you'd like to continue the conversation, hang out with us, uh, we would love to have you over there. Or you can watch the replay whenever you'd like on YouTube, mm -hmm. unlike Instagram. So thank you guys so much for joining on Instagram. We're going to sign off now. Head over to YouTube right there. Uh, fix this, or excuse me, bit.ly forward slash FTBT live. And we will catch you next week 
uh, get out there and build something awesome. And All right. Gonna, then now we can fully concentrate on this YouTube stuff. Yep. So thanks so much for coming, guys. All right. All right. End video. I'm going to go ahead and All grab right. this. Okay. Because uh, I have a feeling if I just let it sit there for a half hour, it will like delete that and then I won't be able to, oh, yeah. to share it. Okay, so Maker by Proxy, you know who this is? Robert. Robert, yep. he is a UPS guy. Yeah, he's the guy. UPS the has man. been insane. He said, not much time during the week for projects, but I killed it this weekend. We really appreciate everyone delivering things. Oh my gosh. We have the best UPS driver. Our UPS driver We love awesome. him. He's so yeah. funny. We like he, him. He always gets on. He's like, dude, what, like, why? Like, <laughs> he's really he, he's funny. He's like, you know, I'm, I'm getting tools and project yeah. stuff all the time. Right. Uh, so he's he's always like, what are you doing, man? And I'm like, <laughs> I like. I do yeah. YouTube for a living. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I see. Okay, so Swift Welding says we should make the chairs for the dining room table. I'm sure he does. Easy <laughs> for you to say. Damn. I mean, sounds good to me, but I don't know. I have would. To Did do you it. see the chairs that those ones that John made? Mm -mm. Tumblecky? Yeah. Here, I showed I showed it to you. I think they were like they had a little like wooden thing at the bottom. A wooden thing at the bottom? Like wooden a wooden foot, like a wooden accent foot. Something. I don't remember that. Well, anyway, I'm sure they were did, beautiful. They were, and uh, I would love to make some chairs because uh, those chairs that John made. If you've not seen those chairs that John made, they are really sexy looking chairs. Sexy chairs. Oh yeah. And that it would go neat. great with the metal base because they're yeah. like, well, here, I guess you right see. there. I could see. I can't. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Well, yeah, there's the delay. Go check so. it out on Instagram if you'd like to see that. But uh, I would love to make chairs. But I tell you what, chairs has got to be one of the hardest things to make. Well, Taylor says, marry a maker if that's how you get chairs. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get a lot of things. That's true. You just have to wait for those items. But, I mean, chairs, they are, I mean, how many chairs that's have you sat you, in that are just like you, you sit them and you're like. I know. I like, don't, that, have you, you've never, you haven't I've never chairs. built a chair, no. I don't think you've ever built, had a lot of desire to do it. No, because it's so like it's so intimidating. Well, then it's a dining room, so we're gonna need a bunch of them. You know, it's well, not that's like the other thing. it's not 100%. like oh, we just need one chair. No, right, because we need eight. We need eight. Yeah. So I don't know where we're gonna go. I mean, like I would love to look at some like West Elm. It's closed, so you can still order stuff. Right. But and then now if you're you don't like, like it, what do you do? You're internet? stuck like, with it. That seems so weird to me. It does. Like you need to be able to sit like, in the chair. You, what do you do whenever you see a chair? Like you sit in it. Like, that, right. like that's how you know if a chair is good. You don't just look at it. You like sit down. And I have you feel a comfortable. feeling what's going to happen is our beautiful new dining room table is going to have our old dining room chairs around it I'm until certain that's everything is over. <laughs> and then we'll go buy chairs. That's okay. Whatever. It happens. Yeah. So Foxhall Woodworks wants to know what camera are you using? The composition is awesome. Composition. We're pretty yes. good at our composition. Uh, the, <laughs> we compose well. Yes. Uh, I think I'm actually a little bit forward because I focused on you, but I'm, I'm up here. So I'm going to step back just to touch. You to, have been forward. I've noticed that. Just but to touch. I wasn't going to say anything. Uh, I'm using the, and if you ever want to go see, actually, we can type in here too. I forgot about oh, that. Oh, Scott can, says the video number two for the month. Cheers. Yes. Yeah. It would you take can, us too long, Scott. So you, you can type in here. Uh, oh. You know. So fixthisbuildthat.com forward slash tools. That oh, dude, uh, I can be on, all over this. Dot on, dot com. On. And so, yeah, you could answer this. So uh, if you go to the link that I just put in the chat, mm -hmm. you can check out all the stuff that I use. And that includes the camera equipment, but it is a GH5S uh, with a Sigma lens, which is like 1755 yeah. or something like that. Joel Wise says he's already burned through every piece of scrap wood that he had. You either did not have a lot of scrap wood or you've been making a lot of stuff. I mean, I look at your pile. I feel like that's a lot yeah, of projects. Yeah, I, I feel like anyway. you were not prepared for the pandemic, Joel. <laughs> well, he says, any advice on gaining lumber? Gaining I like lumber how you say a, that, a Joel. Pandemic. How can I gain some lumber during um, a pandemic? I mean, I know you're well, lumber. I bet you could get a lot of stuff coming out of China for free. <laughs> if you don't want to touch it, they're like, oh. You go like um, let it sit in your yard for days. How long does the virus days. last on wood? Yeah, like, do we know? It's just three days. I mean, it's fine. The most is three days. I would think. No, I, I would. I mean, yeah, because I don't know. like I would always say Craigslist. Like Craigslist is my number one go-to for getting lumber. But like other I would than a still store. probably do that as long as you weren't close to the person. And yeah, you check wore the gloves. freebies. Check the Facebook freebie, and that it depends on yeah. what kind of lumber you're looking and for. You wash your if hands. you're looking for scrap wood, uh, for sure check Facebook Marketplace freebies mm -hmm. as well as uh, Craigslist. Because on the materials section, because there's always free stuff in there um, if you're looking for just for scraps. I'm sorry. AP Woodwork says, thank God HG delivers. Home Depot delivers? Dude, we got like 47 boxes from them. Like, 
Oh, that's two months true. ago. That's true. <laughs> that's not what I was thinking. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It totally does. Yeah, I never think yeah, of that though. By I the wish. Way, do they have? Do they have? I think they do. Where like you can order online and pick it up at the front of the yes. store. Yes. Okay. Uh, no, yeah. 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 Like kind of like Target. Does. Yeah. Sort of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's a good option too, I guess. Uh, by the way, uh, for those who were on last week, I know there's some of y'all here. We. Welcome we back. get the, the microphone thing fixed, if, you, if you notice, if you're noticing, where <laughs> it's not it. the left and right, it's now right. Uh, mono. So we should be coming through, both of us coming through in both yeah. channels, which was kind of weird last time. Joel says we need to get you some wireless labs. Labs, labs yeah, that's labs. this wireless. Yeah. But it's, it's a whole it's, thing. It, it is a whole thing. We went through every Believe option. Believe me, I went through lots of Yeah, options. we tried. These are just for a little inside baseball. Yeah. These are, are um, inside baseball. cardioid. Love it. These are cardioid mics versus omnidirectional. Right. Almost all labs that come, and I have two wireless labs, and they both have omnidirectional mics, and what happens is you just pick <clears> up <throat> a ton of extra noise. And as we're going to start doing this into a podcast, which we did not do today, nope. uh, we need to be week. separate. And so, like, mine, as a cardioid, it basically picks up in this range instead of in, like, and the whole mushroom cloud. And mine this range. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, we when we tested the other ones, Brad was so loud. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I didn't think I was I'm, that quiet, but like but you can barely just, hear me. I talked too much. I dropped this down too. Oh, did and you? I put yours up a little bit. Oh, so well, there we go. We'll see how that better. works. Um, <laughs> and Casa says hi from, from Argentina. Argentina. What's up? Hey. And we got Ryan. Hey. Made by from Nashville. What's up, he brother? Says, hey. Irish Woodworks. Can get congrats on starting up the live shows. Thank you. I felt Absolutely. like we earned it today because it was tricky getting it going. It was tricky. It was a little stressful. Um, Mark D. Maker, how about using the machine that, oh yeah, that heat seals an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper in plastic. I can't think of the name of it, oh, but like it seems a, like, like it would a, work. Oh, like a laminator? Like a laminator? We have a laminator. We do have a laminator. We could try that. I mean, we have the laminator. We might just as well just through run it through happens. and see what happens. Nice thought. Look for a track saw. Which one would I prefer? Also cord mm. cordless. Ooh, character red. What's up, my man? This is right up your alley. Um. I only have, I have the Craig um, ACS track saw mm -hmm. and it, 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 I love it because it's the only track saw I've had. So compared to, I'm comparing it to a circular saw uh, and a board or a circular saw and the AccuCut, which is also the Craig jig. So mm -hmm. those are the two ones that I've had. I've used a, uh, a Festool TS-75 like once um, for the like price. It? It, it was, I mean, it was nice. Um, like I literally made one cut with it, so it wasn't, and it was like a, it was like an angle. I was I like mean, freaking out. I mean, it's best tool, so I'm just thinking, was it? Were you like? Oh, no, like no, it wasn't. Oh, I was I think I was too freaked out. I was like, <laughs> like this. I don't want to break this thing. Yeah, was, yeah. Do you remember that? It was back when, no, it, when? It, it was um, it was gosh, it was it was shortly after we moved here. It's about oh. a year after we moved here. Where were you using it? Uh, and it was I was doing like that charity build. Oh right, the Ronald McDonald House. Not that one. No. But um, it was with a dude who was over in Franklin, and he was in. Um, oh, the house house? No. No, he was. I don't know. He, he was. I forget. I forget what the guy's name is. But anyway. But he had like a really. But nice we went and we were building. We built a house. Oh, we built. We were building tables for uh, like people who had been displaced or that needed a table in their house. I can't remember I exactly what it was for. That. I can't remember the name okay. of the organization. So, but anyway, so the festival was nice. We were building it, and that's what I used it on. But gotcha. yeah, we were up there because I was I was in Nashville at this shop, and it was it was really cool. Was, if you have an opportunity to get involved, is where I was going with this. If you have an opportunity to get involved locally and like build something mm -hmm. for people in need, and you know that's this really is not nice. a great time, obviously. Uh, but <laughs> it's if you can build. Yeah, I mean, it's so rewarding to be able to do that and then see right the, either the videos or the photos or get a message or be there to right. help donate it to those people. Man, that's so awesome. You know my favorite thing that you did? That was really sweet. Had her children? <laughs> Woodworking wise. Oh, okay, go ahead. When Brad got the saw stop, um, you bought oh, it secondhand from, he bought it secondhand from a lady in Nashville whose husband, was, and this is how I remember the story, whose husband was a woodworker or dabbled in woodworking and he had passed away. And so. He owned a cabinet shop actually. He owned a cabinet. He ran a cabinet shop out of his garage. Okay. So. She had listed the saw stop. You went and checked it out, um, and you like cleaned it up and everything because it was all maybe that wasn't the first day. Anyway, he went and checked it out, loved it, couldn't decide if he should spend the money on it or not because it was in bad shape. It was not in good shape. Thank you. And so, but you went back right the next day or something. Like you, you went two times. Yep. And you wound up like cleaning it up, doing all these things to it to kind of help get it in better shape so she could sell it. Right. 
Because you that felt bad for her. Day. That was the first day. Okay, so he was like, "Oh, I'm going to help her out," like because you know, it's a great machine. It's just in bad shape. And then I remember you came home and you're like, "I should have bought it." <laughs> and then he went back and bought it. But the cool thing was, um, she there was some wood there, right? right. Like how, how did that work out? She gave you the wood or no? Uh, she did get, and there's still some of it. It oh. might even be in frame, right up. I we this thing is not. We can't see it live, know. but I think it is in frame. I think it's like right over your head up here. Okay. And uh, that there's so some, of the some of the mahogany. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, some of the the offcuts of what was in the shop there. So you made her a beautiful. He made her a beautiful cutting board out of the wood from her husband's shop, and then took it back and gave it to her yes, afterwards. So I gave it to her. That was very sweet. She cried. This is why I married him. I may have cried. We were... Oh, I know. Seriously, <laughs> I mean, it's very nice. But it, it, it was awesome. It was very cool. Okay. Uh, Moving on. Oh, so track saw. We never actually answered that. Oh, you would no, go to Craig. Oh, I said that's the only one I've got. Yeah. And then Craig Jake. I would. Or Craig. Right. Whatever. I enjoy it. It works. It works nice. Um, it works. It's much more accurate. I feel. Uh, I feel completely comfortable making um, like finished cuts with it versus like on the AccuCut. I would normally cut it to rough size, or I'd be like, uh, I don't know, like you know. But yep. the um, the track saw. I've not done any like angled cuts on it yet. So. I, but it works great, and the desk collection is great. I love that okay. aspect of it. I have a great question for you. Yes. From Worth Effort. It's my favorite. Do you have a standard lunch plan so you don't waste an hour in the middle of <laughs> a shop day? Now, you would think that that would apply to us, like, only post-quarantine, right? Or, like, during quarantine. That was an issue for us no, no, during that's... normal times. Right. So, so We just like to Susan, chat. You know, Susan works uh, here. here now for the last... It's a year and a half. Year and a half, yeah. Year and Since last weeks. school. Uh, it's been a while. She, she went back to teaching when I went full time, mm -hmm. and she did that for a year. Then then came here full time. Yep. And uh, and yeah, that's our biggest issue. <laughs> our biggest we issue take is too uh, long every day. Every talking. day we're so bad. Like it's like one thirty, and we're like, oh my gosh, how are we still lunch? So yeah. no, that no, is a, a that it. is a big yeah that's a big struggle for us. We are not Absolutely. good. So don't come to People us for advice. Melt the two pieces of plastic together. Oops. Well, I, yeah, it does that. Yeah. All right, go on back up. Oh, yeah, there we we're go. finding people. Uh, you always work alone and Nick Key, what's up, my man? Um, focus right. You got it, baby. Hey, Beth. You know that focus right is in there. That's the, the two uh, I two. My man, Nick Key, gave me a little. Oh, Michael, make up Inside scoop on that. Yes, yes it's, it's Robert. Robert. <laughs> That's why you love. <laughs> ah, uh, Jose, it's on Triple J. Hola, mi gente. This is, hey, my people. It's oh, like, what's up, my people? Look at you. I know. Just Do a lingo. Uh, yeah. Yo soy muy... He's practicing in Spanish. Muy uh, contento ahora. Are you content? Is that what that means? It's like happy. I'm happy right ah, now. See, I practically speak Spanish. <laughs> contento. Every once in a while he says a word, happy and I'm like, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Where, where else were you? I was, trying to, I was trying to think of the word for studying, and I can't. I, I, that oh. one's escaping me lately. We don't know. But yeah, anyway, let's, I would let's never move on. <laughs> <laughs> New Zealand, Auckland, down under. Oh, Dave Farr, all right. Oh. Pete is awesome. Yes, dude, Pete. Oh, from the collab video. JP found us from, uh, found the fixes build that from the collab we did with Pete. That's fantastic. Oh, cool. Jack Clamps. Yeah, man. That was wood. a while ago. How's the wireless charging desk? Any issues with the charger? How often do you use the function? Awesome. Um, so <laughs> the well, honest truth, Taylor never is never because that table and it because it got put in the playroom and it was holding bins of well, kids work on it, it i what i the way i assumed i was going to use and so he's talking spot. about a wireless charging desk we were going to put it out as a computer table and have it out in the main room and then um then we realized we have why. children no no i can tell you exactly why because because it was the, like kids, the first day it was out there they the like, kids computer is on it and they are great, but they're not, like, you know, they're kids. Yeah. And it's a beautiful table. I and think they, they like, just, scratched it the first day, and I was stuff. like, enough of this! This right. is out of here! So he moved it to a more secluded area, yes. which has been great. But recently, like, in the last month or so, we moved it into the office. And it's now the 3D printer table. It is now the 3D printer table, but we have plans. So I literally don't that use it's, that. It's going to be moved at some point in the hopefully near and, future and the, um, podcast the podcast table which would be good because we could actually do all the things with I'll get, it i'll get back to but you. it's still beautiful i'll get back so to that's you. important uh so you get one of matt's hats is it a good fit uh it is uh it, it looks is. like a high crown i can't do high crowns it is the high, is crown. It a high crown yeah 
Yeah, it's, it's kind of high. It's higher than our ours is the yeah. low profile. But it looks nice. It does. I like it. This is too. Matt's hat, and I totally dig it. It's got a little leather patch on it. I like the leather a, patch too. Some leather pouches are too much, but this it's one's a Yupong. Nice. Yupong is oh. the is the That's brand. A cool name. Hat brand. Hat brand. Hat brand. Coming, Coming from the delivery. Of, don't ship furniture. Notice yeah. I left the name of the company I work for out of that one. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, we're, I think we'll just wait until the pandemic is over. So it could be yeah. forever. And then we'll go buy chairs or something. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe we'll break down and make them. Matthew Granum, just want to say, loves the Insta sped up videos. I know. Oh. We love those too. So, you know. Good. Thanks. We like them. We like them. Like <laughs> Sean Peterson, coming on over to YouTube. Thank you, man. Uh, and of all oh. trades, I, we should. We should be like, and would you make us some more chairs? But, right. Uh, that, that would be fun. Lipinski24, what would happen if you worked? with wet lumber. Ah. That sounds like a setup for a bad joke. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> like, I feel like we could, I don't let's, know. Yeah, let's just let that one okay. lie. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, Not it depends good. upon what you're doing. I say that like I have any idea. You it do. just doesn't seem, I think it's always because well, I'm Well, it depends right? on what you're doing. If you're, if you're wood turning, oh. you'd have a great experience. There you go. See what I know. If you're building furniture, You'd have a horrible experience. Yes. Uh, not right then, but in a month <laughs> when, when it, dries it out. cracks and does all kinds of crazy things because it, it contracts. Yeah, don't don't okay. actually. I just did a little shout right out there. to this week's it's like you sponsor because you brought it up. Uh, I've got this little dude, which is the Orion 950. They were, I, I, I do this and I know it's actually not focusing. So actually probably when I do that and when I did that, you like, you can't, they probably couldn't see anything. It's just a big blurred mess. I just realized oh. that. Well. So I'll just hold it here. Yeah. This is the, uh, Orion 950 from Wagner meters. And this is like the most Mac daddy moisture meter really cool. ever. Um, I mean, and it's expensive. I really Very thought expensive. it was impressive, and I know nothing mm -hmm. about moisture meters, but, but it's really cool. The, one of these options it has on here is this uh, EMC, and if you watch the video, you can see it. Yes. And this is the equilibrium moisture content, and it is such a cool uh, feature on here. Is what it does is it there's actually a temperature and humidity sensor in here, and it tells you what the equilibrium in your <laughs> shop, like right now, right at this thing, like that's what the wood should get to. So this says. It, it's fluctuating around because I'm moving it. But this says somewhere between 10.2, 10.7, So that I know if I go check wood, like if I check this desk, which has a finish on it, so I don't think that's actually gonna work. But um, so if I, well, no, look at that. So look, I check this desk wood? at this mobile bench and it says 10.8, which makes complete sense because this workbench has been here. Like it should be in equilibrium. Um, and it, it does differ for different species. But uh, so if, if you're not, and like I said, this is a very expensive one. So um, if you're just starting out, then, you know, maybe that's not the greatest one. But if you are a very serious woodworker, this is a great, right. a great tool. It's a good tool to have in your Because if you build with personal. that, if you build with wet lumber, if you build with stuff that's um, what they say is greater than 2% away from that equilibrium, that you could have issues. Now, if you have wet lumber, what do you do to dry it out? You just you put, put it, it in the somewhere shop. and leave you it alone? put it in your shop and you can... Is there a way the to dry way to do it out it faster? To, well, sure. You could have it kiln dried uh, or you could put it in a in a shop with a dehumidifier in there and blowing air over it helps. But you also want to sticker it. So if you're going to be doing lumber, you want to have it so that it's not laying flat on one surface and only three sides or five sides are exposed to the air because it'll dry unevenly and it'll cause it to cup. Oh. Yeah. So uh, you want to be careful with that and um, bring it in your shop. Let it sit for a couple weeks and that should get you pretty close if it wasn't soaking wet. If you just cut it, then the typical rule of thumb is one year, one year. per inch. That's like a, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy. That's like a. But when I, like straight off the, is anybody here is, I think Matt's gone, but like straight off the bandsaw, I mean, it's at like. I mean, that 35, makes sense, 40 percent alive and right. Water. Oh, you should see like when they do the dehumidification process, like there's different ways you can dry and like the dehumidification kilns, like they pull the moisture out and they get buckets and buckets and mm. buckets of, of water out totally. of the wood. It's crazy. So, yeah, man, that, that, you could really have a bad experience if you build with a. OK, I think it's really yeah. funny because um, we have another question. What time do you get started in the morning? It's like they're figuring out all of our deepest, darkest secrets, <laughs> <laughs> calling Vince us out on all of them. Vince what day it is. 
we, yeah, uh, well, that's with the true. kids home, it's, it's, been, it's been a little more difficult with the kids home. We've had to like get into a good groove, and I feel like yeah. last week was better. Last it week was, was the first week that but was decent. When you don't have that uh, that like line in the sand of right. like the kids have to be on they the bus, have to be out the door and gone. Yeah, because then like I'm usually when the Could kids are normally going to school, I'm the one that gets up and gets them up and gets them ready and gets them out the door. And typically Brad is up at some point, but sometimes he'll stay, <laughs> not usually, because usually- Up at some point. I mean, like maybe- I typically get up and, and, and talk to them I before I was going to say, well, like, no, but I was going to- Okay. But what I was going to say is a lot of times you're up late doing work. Oh, And yeah, I yeah. go to bed because I know I'm going to get up with the kids. So it's kind of a trade-off right. there. And now we don't necessarily do that anymore. Right. But so that was kind of our land line in the sand. And now- Especially our daughter. Dude, that girl could sleep all day long. She, she just she sleeps does. in. She's living her best life right now. So, we, so it's a little bit trickier. What time do we get started in the morning? I mean, let's Honestly, be honest. Honestly, I don't get started in the morning now. No, I get started doesn't. making them do stuff. And She's doing the homeschooling and type I'm trying to get guidance. Right, and I'm trying to like allow him to be able to work. And, and I'm like running interference with the kids and <laughs> Yeah, and so like that. after two weeks, I mean, I think we are in a groove. I think this week worked yeah. a lot better than the previous. I work in the afternoons two. when they have free time. And, and I typically, um, like I'm now, so here's a tip for all you folks working at home, if it's just what, what's helping for, for me. Is, uh, and I didn't actually used to do this when the kids were going to school. I don't know why, it's just like something, I think it's that, it's that mental hmm. uh, line that I cross over that I'm like, okay, I'm now into work mode, is I get up and take a shower. I know like that sounds, Oh wow, Brad! He takes you, you a take a shower every day. Every day. Like, no, yeah. Like I usually would only shower every couple of days, uh, unless I really, unless really you, got like, sweaty or dirty. Or something. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't working out either, so well, that made that easy. I was trying to easy. like throw you a bone there. You know. I know. Let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> but, uh, but now I, I'm getting up and showering every morning, and then I try to be down and going by about nine o'clock. Yeah. So that's where that's kind of where we're at. And, but then I do work a lot at night, and we're trying to hone that but in. But we so. have like a time that we have to be in bed during the week, right? And a time that we have we have to be up by during the week. We don't really watch TV during the week. We don't watch right. TV during the week. We don't drink alcohol during the week. Like we have we have rules for ourselves because this isn't like going to just be two weeks or three weeks. Right. This could go on for months, and so we're trying to make it. We're just trying to have some parameters around things. Yeah. But and yeah, you have to because we didn't good. for the first couple of weeks and it was a disaster. Yeah, and we so, were just kind of doing whatever. And, and we're that reading was the also news. contributing to why I didn't have a video. Right. <laughs> Direct contrib contribution. Yeah. Uh, and it, what do I, will I always <laughs> include? Oh, wait, do I get to have the standard launch? Uh, David, will I always include mistakes in the videos? Of course. Uh, yes. That's because part of our deal. The only time I won't include mistakes is when I stop making them. <laughs> and so I will always include mistakes. <laughs> Uh, All right, Robert, have a good night, my man. It is funny, too, because, like, I'm there, and I know, like, when something has stressed you out or, like, given you fits or just annoyed you to death when you're building a project. And I know, because I'm, I'm, like, right there. And then I watch the video after, and I'm like, you really do make it look so easy on the videos, you know? It's, but and, but like, even mistakes. including the mistakes. Right. But, like, it's just the, it's the, it's the power of... The editing. video and, and editing. It just always, and it's not that you we're know. trying to make that look. No, it just, it's that's just, just the way it comes off. It's just relaxing to watch but, somebody else do something, but I'm like, wow. Yeah. Like, but the back end of it, and she sees it, is like when I come in and I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot yes. believe I just, you know, uh, like <laughs> made the wrong cut. Like, and every time he's like, oh, I messed something up, I'm like, that's gold. That's good. Uh, yeah. It's another mistake we can put in the video. People I'm love like, that. I'm like, I've got enough of those already. I know. <laughs> I'm like, you did this on purpose, didn't you? Yeah, no, but uh, but no, I will always show those, David, because I think yeah. it helps. It, I mean, no, it helps. And for one, and I started when I started including them, I got a bunch of great feedback because people were like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that like pros make mistakes." I'm like, okay, first of all, I'm not a pro. <laughs> okay, technically, I am a pro because I get paid for what I do, but I'm not a professional woodworker. I'm a professional video creator. Right. Uh, but yeah, I'm a, a uh, you know, I would still consider myself a hobbyist woodworker who makes, because I don't get paid to do woodworking, the actual products, although I have in the past, but. You're really circling around. Well, I'm just saying, I mean, like, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking in technicalities here, but you get my point. Okay. My point is, is that everybody makes mistakes unless you right. are just like, 
well, have you don't, and I'm always building new you things. You don't want them, right? That's true. Because it'd be and one thing, and you're designing thing, them, and so you're not like going off a plan, right. and like it'd be one thing if you're building the same table over and over right. as a professional. Well, and you don't want the biggest thing I think is that you don't want the viewer to make the same mistake that you made. Like that's the whole point, or like right. one of the big points is that we want you to be able to have a better experience, and so you can learn. Um, at Brad's expense. Yes, am I? Uh, <laughs> He'll do it for it's you. It's all good. No uh, problem. Irish Woodworks. Our shop is. Um, what is it? The square footage, I believe, is uh, right around. Uh, I can't remember. 650, 650 ish, I believe. It's 31 by 19. It's got tall ceilings. And it's got 11 foot ceilings, which are fantastic. It's really nice. Uh, it is, and that really helps diffuse the light. Uh, and we are, we are coming up on the hour here, at least the hour of being going. So we are going to shut off here. So if you do have any other little questions, go ahead and shoot them down in there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but we have some from Worth Effort here. Uh, one year plus, one year plus one year for inches end. up to four inches. Uh, but beyond eight inches, it's never, never going to dry. dry. It ain't never going to dry. Just give it up. That's awesome. Um, difference in drawing skills. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, having that. What is this? What? Just saying, like the you know, after you've been woodworking for a year or two, that's when you start kind of uh, you, you stop making certain stride. mistakes, and you get yeah, and yeah. then it's like project specific well, that makes mistakes. Sense. I think that's. I mean, that would be true for a lot of. He, like I was watching Mark Wood Whisper the other day, and he like cut a mortise in the wrong place, and it was like he was saying it was because he's working with his brother-in-law now, and they like it was something about the design, so mm. it was like miscommunication design. Everybody but, makes mistakes. Yeah, like he's making even you know, Wood Whisper. Right, he's been. Yeah. But it's only like, one. He's like the Godfather. Yeah. <laughs> um, I thought. What did I see? So Richard Schmidt says he's taking a woodworking break and taking a crash course in auto body repair Ooh. out of necessity. <laughs> I'm hoping spray painting. No, spraying auto paint and wood finishes are similar. We have a little issue. My van. All of a sudden, the AC is not working. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about that thing you hit. We don't need to talk about that. Because <laughs> we're talking about that auto was body. like minor. <laughs> issues with hitting like my, my walls. foot came off the brake and i just ran there into a wall there was an old was like, lady walking behind me and i was trying to maneuver i still don't understand how that works though how do you how do you creep i like forward? how you didn't ask me about it at the time but now that we are on a live you're like let's let's delve into you this brought it up. you, you're the you brought it up you brought it up you were like oh the van has an issue but the ac i didn't bring well, up the you thing said I the van hit. has an issue and i was done then that's when my mind was already there my point is i didn't bring up the thing i hit you <laughs> brought up the thing i hit i never hit anything but I did that time. I okay. don't really normally. Except for that thing you hit. Yeah. Anyway, our air conditioning, my air conditioning we, we is that. not working. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, Trent whatever. Trent Arms signing in. Had to go get the evening run. I love it, man. Stay healthy All right. out there. Yep. Awesome. Well, we are at an hour, guys. So thank you so much for hanging out. And we will be here on YouTube. And if you've not seen the video, go check that out uh, that we just put out. is yep. on the Oak Dining Table. And uh, I really enjoyed the video. And it was it, it's an awesome piece sitting in there in the dining room right now we're yep. super stoked about it so go check that out it's beautiful and uh yeah we'll yeah. see you guys next fun. week and uh we're really excited about doing this live every week and thanks so much for hanging in there with us absolutely all right get out there stay and build safe. something awesome and stay safe and stay safe wash your hands wear your masks yeah don't touch your face yes see you guys it's like impossible not to touch your face <laughs> all right